Uh, tonight is, uh, we're going to discover Norte, California. Uh, it's a huge story. I spent a couple of years researching it because there were famous people who wrote diaries in this march. The march was about 1,500 miles long and started right here, a place called Velicata, halfway up from the, the bottom of Baja. Before we start, though, tell the story, I want to show you some of the characters involved. First one is Gaspar de Portola, with an accent on the last A. There was a bust of him in the Los Angeles County uh, Park. And I remember seeing him as a boy, a big bust with the information. And I inquired several years ago, and they took it away, and they don't know where it is. <laughs> This is Gaspar now standing in Portola Square in Monterey, his statue. There's also a statue in Pacifica overlooking San Francisco. That's where they first saw the San Francisco Bay, his, his men and so forth. This is Father Palau. He stayed back in Baja, but the very top of where they people lived, and he was a historian. He got a hold of all the uh, diaries and letters, and he wrote a very four books this thick called Nostesis. It's the history of what took place. I think that's Father Crespi. He wrote probably the best diary. Here's the ship, the San Carlos. There were two ships used in the, uh, to discover California, the uh, San Antonio and the, and the uh, San Carlos. This was, these, these two ships were built on the west coast of Mexico. This is the picture of one of a. Uh, can you see anything? No. Can you see it? Yeah, I can. Higher. Too wide an audience here. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to hold them up? Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's, a, that's one of the soldiers of, that they would look like in, that, in the expedition. And here's the other one. And uh, there's a photo, a uh, picture made from a photograph of um, the march to Monterey. And it took me a long time to get this document, which is the manifest of everything they took with them, mm -hmm. by boat mm -hmm. and by mule, mm -hmm. over 200 mules. Well, let's tell the story. And people's backs. The story starts in 1768 with King Carlos III of Spain. Uh, he makes two decisions. Number one, the Jesuits are undermining his authority, he believes. And secondly, he wants to grab all the land that he thinks belongs to, should belong to Spain because all the mariners who stopped in San Diego and Monterey and so forth. So he, uh, he has a, a top general by the name of um, Galvez. And he's, uh, he sends him to Mexico to do two things, to uh, arrest all of the Jesuit priests who are in the missions in Mexico and in Baja. This map over here shows all the 16 missions in Lower Baja and 
Franciscan fathers were running those, teaching uh, Christianity and Spanish to the uh, young Indian men. They were called neophytes. Uh, so Galvez comes to uh, Mexico, and he needs a leader for the for an army that he's going to put together, a small army. And Gaspar de Portola volunteers. He's a captain in the army. There's another captain uh, by the name of Rivera, and he's very important as well. Father Sterra and Portola they'll go by boat to La Paz at the bottom, near the bottom of Baja. And they go together. Um, Father Sterra uh, was the head of the Franciscan order uh, in Mexico and had quite a few uh, uh, fathers, or frame they call them. And, and Portola went along to arrest all these uh, in every one of these 16 missions to take out the Jesuits and get them all together and then march them to the, the east side of Baja. And then put in the Franciscans? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're right. No, yeah. Um, and then Father Sarah would bring in for each mission one of the Franciscan fathers. Hmm. So that was what took place. And then, uh, at the same time, uh, they would uh, either take or ask these young men, uh, Indians who were studying Spanish and Catholicism, <coughs> that they would like to go on this big journey that they're going to make. So the idea was, overall, to have the army split in two units, Division one and two, and they also have two boats, the uh, the one I spoke about, uh, and they started in a place called uh, the Men, uh, not the ships, but halfway up. Up here, Velicata, they merged you know, all the the. Uh, the men in the army, the, uh, all the padres, about 18 of them, and about 50 of these neophyte Indian boys, and, and down here were the two ships that were built, and they were going to go all the way around and meet at San Diego. Um, Over here. Yeah, up there. Yeah. And, so they did. The, uh, the first division that were was going to leave was under the under Captain Rivera. And with her, Rivera was uh, uh, Father Crespi. And not only that, but they had each division, the first division had like 150 mules. And Everything that the mules carried, cannons, food, <laughs> armament, everything for the religious uh, order. And uh, so they started, that was the first division they started, and, and they went up from the Velicata all the way to the Colorado River is a fierce desert. And they knew about it because one of the Franciscan fathers intentionally wanted to see what was up above. So his records show that it was all uh, desert. And based on that, they had barrels of water tied to these mules, one on each side. Then they had large leather bags filled with water. And the animals. Uh, the horses and the mules, and and back of each one of.